Hello everyone, I'm Michael Fudge. Today I'd like to talk to you about some relational concepts, mainly primary keys and entity integrity. Let's get started. For these relational concepts examples, I'll be using Microsoft Access. You can use really any database management system you want to sort of demonstrate these relational concepts, but I find that this is actually the easiest to use because you can kind of see things um, relatively easily and manipulate objects without having to know any programming or SQL at this point. So let's go through the example. I have a, a table here of car vehicles. And imagine, for example, you know, every database is around a use case. So imagine in this particular case, I uh, sell these cars. I am a car dealer and I sell these cars. And these are each of the cars I have on my lot. And I have seven cars on my lot. And they have a, a vehicle identification number and a license plate and a make and a model and a year and, and how much I, I'm going to sell the car for. So this is considered a table of data. So let's talk about entity integrity and what that means. So imagine these are real cars. So each one of these rows corresponds to a real thing. And entity integrity is a characteristic of a table that guarantees that each of these entities here is unique. Okay. When we have entity integrity in a table, our table is considered to be a relation. So let me give you an example of what happens when we don't have entity integrity. You know, this is a, a Ford F-250. It's a car that sits somewhere on a lot, right? But I could it electronically just make, there's nothing preventing me from doing this. So now the same car is in here twice. And you see that the database didn't complain about this at all. And now we no longer have entity integrity because we have two rows that represent one thing. If I go out to my car lot, there's just one Ford F-250, but in my electronic records, there is now two. And the problem with violations of entity integrity like this is that we can not keep the data consistent. For example, if I was using a form to edit these values and I go to the end here, and this is one of the Ford F-250s. And let's suppose I change the price of this to $50,000. Now I have two Ford F-250s with the same ID, the same ID here, but they have different prices. And I can go back here and show you that in the vehicles table. I have two of the exact same car, but they have different prices. So I've actually violated the entity integrity because the one entity means now two things. Okay. And so this is why primary keys are important. Primary keys are constraints that guarantee that the columns that we select as to be used as primary key are unique and that uniqueness guarantees that entity integrity. So let me go show you an example with makes. This makes table here just consists of different car makes. And this makes table was designed so that it has a, it's very hard to see, there's a little key right there. If you look right there, there's a little key. And this, this key here tells us that this value here cannot repeat. So what does that mean for us? That means that we cannot add the same value more than once. When we do that, we get an error. And this is the database management systems way in practice of telling us that we have violated entity integrity. And you can have a table if you don't have a rule or a constraint that prevents entity integrity from being violated, you will have a situation like we had with vehicles where you have multiple versions of the same thing. So if I go back here to makes, you'll see uh, I have two Rams in here, but it will not let me save that. There's nothing I can do to save it in there. Same thing if I try to do a GMC. It just won't let me do it because the rule has been set on this table that says no two makes can be the same. Now, I cannot do that here because I've already added another VIN. If I go back to the design of this table and then I say I would like to make this the primary key, forcing entity integrity on this table, when I try to save the table, it's going to say, you can't do that because there's data that's duplicated in here. Same thing with if I try to use license plate because license plate was also the same. Can't do that either. All right, so we got lots of problems here. 
Now, if I go back and just go back to the design view, and you know, I could change this VIN to something else, and then now it doesn't violate entity integrity, but this VIN doesn't exist. If I go out and walk my car lot, I won't see this VIN here. So that's a, the thing to remember about databases. These rows in the table correspond to real things. The real orders, the real customers, the real products that you sell, the real cars that you're trying to sell. And because of that, the, the rule of entity integrity uh, has to match um, something that we see physically, a characteristic physically of our data that we can refer to and then use to guarantee uniqueness. So to close out, let me delete this row out of here. Okay, that's gone. Then I can go back to my design and set this as the primary key. And then now when I save it and go back, um, I have entity integrity and I cannot add this VIN again. It just won't let me, even if I pick different license plates and things like that. And, you know, I can call this a different car, you know, model and then different year. It just won't let me do it because the constraint has been set on VIN the constraint was set on this column VIN here. And because we put the constraint here, it says no two values in here can repeat. And these two values are repeating and therefore it will not let me save the record. So because these are the same VINs, all these other attributes, they don't even matter because this is the one that constrains the entity integrity of the table. Okay, that's tables, primary keys, entity integrity.